Thank you for your interest in Open Metal's private cloud. Our pricing calculator works differently than most cost estimators since the underlying hardware is a fixed cost and your per VM costs depend on choices you make on hardware to virtual resources ratios and how full your private cloud will be. Generally though, VMs will be between 35% and 60% cheaper than on the mega clouds. Let's take a look. All right, so first you need a cloud core. The cloud core supplies a set of compute and storage resources and also runs the private cloud's control plane. The control plane is what turns the hardware into a cloud with private networking, APIs, load balancers, firewalls, secrets as a service, etc. So in this case, I'm gonna select a large V2.1. You can see 64 cores, 512 gigabyte, gigabytes of RAM, and 12.8 terabytes of NVMe storage. So, and uh, these are three servers, and the three servers are used to provide highly available services replicated across the three servers. And so once that's selected, you can see on the right, under resources down here, uh, processor for example, you can see the raw cores of the three servers, 192 in this case, cores for compute, and that is what's after the resources for the control plane are set aside, 162, you can see here. And then vCPUs, um, let's come back to that um, as that requires a bit of explanation. You can see down here though under raw RAM, we've got 1,536 gigabytes. And then some again set aside for the control plane, we'll leave you 1,482 gigabytes uh, for your workloads. And then of course under network storage, you can also see raw capacity, 38.4 terabytes and after redundancy 12.8 terabytes and this is a triplicate redundancy duplicates also an option in popular when running development or other non-production workloads uh, so you can just ask your account engineer about that and you can be swapped to duplicate the control plane uses the boot drives for its operation and thus all drives listed here are available for storage so back to the top under the overall cloud price you can see the agreement terms this is pretty self-explanatory. You can select from different terms based on your needs, but we do also offer all the way up to uh, five-year agreements. You can see here, uh, for those of you that need to lock in the lowest costs. Uh, ramps are also available, just contact your account manager for those. Assisted management is a service, that for, is a service level for companies that are looking for a technical partner to handle much of the underlying cloud and to be available for engineer to engineer advice and tuning. Uh, highly technical companies or companies in the business of SaaS or hosting often select not to use assisted management as they have a team that can absorb the day two ready configured cloud and take it from there. We have specific training guides for admins to be comfortable with doing this. Uh, we'll leave this on for now. Let's take a look at ratios and per VM costs now. So all public clouds have a ratio they have set when hardware resources are turned into the virtual resources they sell you. With your open metal cloud, this power is now in your hands. We can help you decide this ratio based on your workloads, but a CPU to vCPU ratio of eight is common and a good place to start. A one-to-one -one RAM ratio is also common, but can be adjusted up in certain situations. Uh, talk to us about this one though. Now I'll move around those ratios and you can see the number of VMs change as I move the ratios. So for example, let's bump this up. Now I can do 356 on there. Um, but you'll notice that actually when I turn this up to 10, uh, that didn't change. And that's because currently the RAM is the limiter for running these uh, 4 gig 2 vCPU um, VMs that have been selected here. But let me actually just drop this back down to 1 and drop that down to 8 again. And so 296 uh, VMs can be run at an 80% utilization of your cloud if you're doing all 4 gig uh, VCP, 4 gig 2 vCPU VMs. And it comes out at $12.15 per VM. So probably open market is, you're going to see somewhere between $20 and probably mid-30s or maybe a little bit higher than that on the big clouds uh, with, with storage included. And again, uh, storage is included um, inside of this cloud. So in general, you can expect between 35 and 
uh, less expensive VMs, depending on which provider you're coming from, your workloads, and of course the decisions you make between performance increases you may want over cost savings. On the calculator here, you can adjust the utilization rate from uh, 70 to 90 percent, and we generally recommend running at 80 percent for best performance and you know, great cost efficiency. But if you're looking at your current workload, and if you're going to be running at something well under 70 percent usage, we generally recommend two things. First, you can pick a smaller cloud core and just grow your cloud by adding storage and compute when the time comes. Or of course, the second option is talk to your account manager and ramps uh, can be available to help uh, help people move in at a cost effective rate. So, but yeah, let's, I'll just show you how to add the storage and compute. It's quite straightforward over here. Since we've got a Cloud Core V2.1, we can simply just add additional servers in storage and compute. And it's very straightforward to add these. And so you don't need to go out of the gate with a cloud built to you know, estimated specs way in the future. Instead, start with what you're likely to move in in the next three to four months, uh, maybe six months only. Uh, and again, I really encourage you to meet with our team. They're very technical and committed to your success on your own cloud at a reasonable cost. It's not like meeting with a typical salesperson. Uh, plus the pricing is transparent, it's right here. And uh, the uh, but the account team can do other things like ramps, uh, egress, move in offsets. Sometimes moving in can be expensive because you're paying a lot of egress to get out of wherever you are, and things like that. It's worth meaning for sure. So that's my quick intro into pricing. And if for egress, see the egress pricing page, and for large scale storage, see the storage cluster pricing page. Storage can be standalone or part of the cloud. Thanks again for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon.